Good, good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. I'm sorry, I will never do that ever again in my entire lifetime. Uh, but welcome back to the vlog guys this morning. Uh, okay, right now it's, it's it's dry. It's it's dry, it's not raining outside and, and it's uh, it's pretty warm. It's like 19 degrees, so it's probably ideal weather to go out on my bike riding. But no, today, today we're going on the turbo trainer. Not because of the weather, not because of any, anything like that, but uh, just because that's the session uh, that my coach Steve has set me today to do. He set me to do a, a turbo session. So basically, I'm gonna go on the turbo, but I don't wanna go on the turbo in my usual location of my office because like riding up here in the summer is quite, I mean, it's, it's a big room, but it's quite a thin room and it's like well insulated. My parents got this part of like the extension to my parents' house that they got a few years ago. So like it's, it's all like well insulated and stuff. So it's real, real hot in here. Airflow isn't great. We've just got this one window. Um, so in the winter and stuff, like it's fine to use this room as as the turbo room that like to train in and stuff but but during the summer when it's warm it's just it's, even with a couple even with like two fans it's still pretty grim so i'm gonna take the turbo trainer and take it into the outside shed because i think it's gonna be more pleasurable and pleasant if that's even possible doing an interval session on the turbo i'm gonna train outside today or in the shed outside so it's pretty busy in here with bikes and equipment and kit and everything but we got the bike set up and the ideal thing is we can just open these doors up, open this window, open this window. We've got a fan here. It's nice and airy. So it just makes it a little bit more pleasant, like training on, on the indoor trainer. Like there's nothing worse than being in a hot room and it just feels muggy and sweaty and just grim. There's nothing worse than that. So hopefully this is going to be a little bit better than, uh, than, than training up in my office. So I'm going to get out of my pajamas, into my kit and on the bike. All right, we're on the bike. We're just warming up right now. The session today is going to be about an hour, just over an hour, like an hour and a quarter. Got my fan there, my intervals on my Wahoo, ready to read to me so I can just uh, follow them and pedal my legs. It's going to be a pretty standard session, five four minute efforts at threshold with five minutes recovery and then a 10 minute cool down to finish things off. So a reasonably hard session. I'm going to uh, put the camera away in my pocket, focus on my session and I'll see you on the other side. Let's do it. Oosh. Oosh. That's an hour, an hour done. Wasn't the grimmest of sessions, but I think just being back on the turbo trainer inside on my bike is a little bit grim, especially I thought it was gonna rain outside today. The forecast says it's gonna be heavy rain all day. And I mean, it rained this morning for about half an hour, but as you can see by Sam's ability to sunbathe, it's not actually raining. However, felt like it was raining inside. Many sweat was created, hence why I've had to use my uh, improvise with my towel. Uh, it's actually just my, my t-shirt, so. Yeah, keeping the bars nice and clean. Otherwise, they'd be covered in sweat. But anyway, that is one hour and five minutes done, including five four minute efforts at threshold. A little 10 minute cool down in the bag. Average watts, 881, standard 80. All right, let's pause that and end it before it, uh, before it gets any worse. Bosh, that is a tasty little normalized power for the ride there, 309. Power zones, max, let's have a look. Five minute power, 370, peak one minute, four. I mean, I was doing four minute efforts, so neither of those are really an accurate representation of how hard the session was. Anyway. All right, the mountain bike is packed into the boots of the car. Let's go and have some fun. All right, so we're in Koppel. We're in the village of Koppel. And uh, so what some of you know, some of you might not know, is I grew up, like, um, I, the way I got into, into cycling, the way I got into bike racing, was through BMX racing. Now, obviously I don't still have my BMX bike. I sold that uh, many moons ago, but what I do have is my mountain bike rig. So I've driven down to Copple BMX track. We are approaching right now. Bosh, there it is in all its glory. This is gonna be the first time I'm riding here in about two or three years. So I'm gonna put my full face helmet on. Let's go and have a bit of fun. Yo, the nostalgia, man. The nostalgia is real. We used to start, set off on this uh, start gate and head down the track. Yo! I can't believe we used to jump these jumps.
And now it's not even manual loop. <laughs> Quality. Guys, that felt weird. Been back on the BMX track. But I'm gonna do a bit, do a bit of a session now, try and find uh, try and find my jumping legs again. Learn how to ride a bike on a BMX track again. And then we'll be back in a bit. All right, I've done a few laps. Now, let's have a whirl and a couple of jumps, eh? And the berm. First up is this double. Yeah, I rim that. Definitely, definitely rim that. All right, we go again. We go again. Just gotta commit 100%. Here we go. Oh, that's better. Well, manual up. Manual double. Into the berm. Woo! Pop off that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, third time's a charm and all that. Woo! All right, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna come back on a day where there's no wind. It's pretty windy today. And these, uh, these big wheels are catching the wind when I'm jumping. So it's my first kind of little mini session back on the BMX track. I don't want it to be in those kind of conditions and I'll probably end up crashing because in my head, like I just think that I can do them still. When in reality, I haven't jumped like that for, I haven't done jumps, you know, on a BMX track for like years, man, years. Something else that's also slightly putting me off uh, today is the brakes. Wait, 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 let me show you, I'll show you. Look at that, it pulls straight into the grip and it's the same situation with the back brake. They do work, but only when they're pulled right in and I don't, some of, it, some of it don't feel right about that. So I wanna get, I need to get the brakes bled. I need to come back on a day where there's no wind and grow a pair of balls. That's what I need to do. It's just so funny though, because I literally, like I literally, used to do like 35 foot gaps, like just for fun. If I can find a video or a GoPro segment of me doing said jumps like back in the day, I'm gonna insert it right now whilst I'm putting the bike back in the car. So going, kind of, so going like from that to uh, literally coming down to the BMX track, feel like not even able to do, not even able to jump like a, a four foot double is, uh, it's almost demoralizing. Like it's almost a little bit demoralizing. Like I used to, like how easy that would have been for me at one particular time. And now it's just like, whoa, you're not supposed to be here. And that's exactly what I felt like today. I don't know, maybe I need to stick to uh, mountain bike trails and stuff these days but we're not defeated couple bmx track we will be back here very soon when the when there's no when there's no wind also i'm on reserve fuel sick lexi is such a needy dog such a needy dog i put her outside for like two hours just to be a normal just to be a normal dog be outside you know enjoy the enjoy the great outdoors and every time i walk into the kitchen right here she stood there on her back legs trying to get inside the house oh and look who's perked up Hey, dogs, come here. Sam, Sam, come here. Do you want to go? Do you want to go? <laughs> See, Lexi knows what I'm going to say. I've not even said it yet, look at her. She knows, she knows what's coming, don't you? Sam, oi! Sam, don't leave me. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> I think running around in circles means yes. Sam, do you want to go for a walk? Sam? You wanna go for a walk? Jesus Christ almighty. You are a nutcase. You'd think you'd never get walked in your life ever. You get walked every single day and you react the same way every single day. Right, looks like just like you wants to go for a walk today. Come on, mate. We're going for a walk. I know what'll get him excited. You ready? You ready? There. <laughs> There we go. It is the time of the year right now where these little buggers 
get absolutely massive and they're bloody everywhere now now if you're not from the uk or you're from a country where you don't have that certain plant we call it a stingy nettle because it stings now it only lasts for about five minutes but it is five minutes of annoying like not really intense pain just annoying pain but at this time of the year those little are absolutely everywhere in the fields uh, but when i can avoid them i will do and apparently i mean i'm not going to do it but apparently you can touch the stem because it is only the leaf that like stings you but you can also take these home put them in boiling water and create soup but after a day of ups and downs in terms of the weather what a lovely evening it is to walk the old doggos this evening sun is setting the sky is looking pretty clear and hopefully this is a sign of things to come for later on this week because tomorrow i'm out on the bike and doing a long ride just stay like this please don't rain just be nice all right this is pretty cool lexi wants the stick from the uh from the swing from the rope swing here ready get it go get it <laughs> oh get it get it <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, oh! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, Lexi. Right, ready, ready, go get it. Wait, wait, wait. Go, get it, get it, go get it. Hop, 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 get it, go, fetch it, <laughs> fetch it, fetch it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. I feel like she's gonna do a backflip at one of these times. Oh, three, six, what, we, got, we got a 180 in there. Go on, get it. Get it, fetch it, fetch it, fetch it. Oh, get it, get it, oh, get it. Okay, I think we need to stop now because I think, I feel like, I feel like it's not gonna click that it's attached to the, to the, to the branch there and she can't pull it down. So she's gonna end up ripping her teeth out. So we're gonna, we're just gonna leave, come on. We're gonna leave that one be. We're gonna leave that one be. All right, this is what I'm gonna call an absolute war zone of plant we've got we've got a stinging nettle on that side and on this side a thorn bush not cool plant not cool standard practice forgot to outro my video last night so from the following day from the current day guys that's the end of today's video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, please leave a like it helps out massively on the channel and with that being said i'll see you tomorrow at the same usual time of 5 p.m peace and i leave you alone